Hi everybody, it's Kim Wilson here and I just got back from my mom's in Orchard Park so I haven't had any time for a stamping the last couple of days but I thought I'd show, give you another tip because I know you guys love tips. So I don't know if you're like me but I'll start on a big project and then something else comes up and I need to put it aside. So here's my tip um, when you're working on a project and you just need to do something else. Um, I have these stackable totes that I got at Walmart and they fit eight and a half by 11 paper and um, supplies, stamp sets, whatever you want for a project. And I've got three of them right here. That I'm in the middle of projects. I found out um, quite, a, quite a few weeks ago that we were going to have a designer series paper sale in August. So I put aside some of my, um, my sale uh, or my some of my um, designer paper projects that I was working on and worked on something else so I could pull these out again in August. So I just wanted to show you this tip. So I have my paper in here. I have some old projects that I was going to copy using um, using the new papers. I've got some things I wanted to show people and some finished projects here um, all ready to go. So I'll get into those um, later in August when the sale begins. But I just wanted to show you this fun tip. Um, this is the Full of Life Designer Series paper and it is one that is included in the sale next month. And so that one is a great one to get on your list. I had so much fun playing with that even and even though they're not quite finished yet and here's another one I had fun starting this one this is the let's see it's called Mediterranean Blooms um, 12 by 12 paper and unfortunately I can't fit the whole 12 by 12 in these totes but I have the paper um, separately when it's 12 by 12 but I did get the stamp set in there and I have some of the um, paper um, cut die cut already and some pieces ready to go I have hopefully I can uh, read my little sketches here. I sketched out some things I wanted to do with that bundle. So that one's ready to go. And then my third tote here is, this is a bundle that's gonna be in the upcoming mini catalog. So isn't that pretty with, um, with these cute little winter birds? So that one's coming up too. So I'll show you all these things in detail when it's time, but I just wanted to give you that little tip of um, being able to put your projects aside and still have them accessible and easy to see when you're looking for something and like a couple of my stamp sets are in there so I can see see that they're in there if I need them for something else just real quick the designer series paper sale starts on August 6th so you've got a little ways to wait for that um, but it will only include some papers from the annual catalog so if you had anything in mind from the like online exclusives like the new Christmas papers or the coffee paper or the zinnia paper those are not included in the sale so you might as well go ahead and get those in august which today is the last day of bonus days i mean in july yes today is the last day of july so bonus days ends today and then you can use your coupon to, to um in august when um when it's good so these are the let's see if you can see all of these these are eight of the papers right here and i'll flip this over and there's the other six papers that will be included in the sale and that is one of my favorite sales so I was so excited I had to keep that secret for all this time but there you go um, that's coming up in August um, today last day of bonus days oh there's my website too in case you wanted to run it grab something for bonus days and um, garage sale we're repeating part two it's going to be Saturday so I'm busy getting ready for that too so hope everybody has a good week happy crafting